Welcome back, guys, to Bowser's Inside Story. We're having, well, swam around a lot of Bowser's Insides. Yes, pleasant indeed. We have what we need. So hopefully move onwards. Powering him up. The weirdness it is Bowser's internals. All the goop that we've inhabited at this point in time. But now where can we go? Well, we have ourselves a billion spaces apart from the pulsing space. We have the nerve cluster, the airway, the chest station, the nose deck, and the pipe yard to visit. However, we should stick on plan and go to the flame pipe, I think. And find out what's within, because we have a bit of flame that Bowser wants back. We can hopefully get him out of the tree situation. So with a smaller spot here, let's get Mario on through. And a switch must be hit. Well, let's keep it on hammer, as I kept switching. No, it won't work that way, never mind. Because of course we're gonna have to make you bigger at some- Luigi! Whoa, where did you go? Okay, Luigi, come back. It's all fine. We didn't mean to abandon you, that's for sure. Let's end our internal adventure. Oh, Mario is failing this time. Oh, it looks like I've got to go down here to actually get up. It looks like too big a jump over there. But what do we have in front of us? Oh boy, I've seen these bugs. They live in Dibble Wood. Bowser must have inhaled it with whatever else he ate. But to have gotten this big, what's it been eating? Flames? Of course! This thing is blocking Blau Bowser's flame pipe. No wonder he can't spit fire. I was going to say Blouser. And you've been eaten. Well, that's handy. Luigi! Yeah, Luigi! No, 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 don't run that way. Okay, battle. Stop being so panicky as battle is reached. Right then, so we have ourselves, of course, a new move here. So let's try and use that, though. To be honest, you're on a flame pipe, so I kind of expect you to be somewhat fire resistant. We'll give it a go. Boss fight, say. Attack when you can. And attack with what weapons you do have. Oh, I'm not doing it very well at this point in time, am I? Still enough to get an accident. 24 damage. Oh, hello. Right. Dodged with a double jump strategy. If in doubt, use both. How much will green shell do? Because it uses less. As long as I get it right, anyway. Oh, no. Okay, it probably could do comparable damage. Let's give it a go with Mario, then, seeing this thing's not attacking back again. See, Mario was the fast superstar. Oh, kicked way too early. Oh, no, I didn't. But then I kicked way too early on the other one. So let's go for this. As long as I dodge everything, it doesn't matter how much I mess up, does it? Right. Maybe I can get an excellent this time. Indeed I can. So it is roughly the same damage for less SP. So let's just keep nuking him. Before we have to get down to normal attacks. Yeah, 25 damage is better than what we got with the flames. Hello, what are you doing here? Ow, ow! Starlo! Why are you... Bah! Okay, you're double attacking now. Well, that's friendly of you. Well, that probably means we've taken down its HP a fair amount. It is attack patterns changing, but to be honest, we hadn't really seen enough of this attack pattern to know that it is changing. 27 total that time. Right, obviously we don't have enough to do it right now. We could probably try to use an item to just heal up or use syrup jars. Or we could just bounce on his head. Bouncing on his head probably works too. 15 total damage, and it's going up in the sky. Oh, double jump strategy works fine as well. Oh, whoa, oh, wait, you... Don't you do that. Right, uh, apart from that... 
Let's use a syrup jar on Mario. Because then we can get three green shells off on you. We don't want Starlo being used against, as a weapon against us again. There we go, now I'm in the swing of things. And you're looking the way you're fighting, but now you're going up in the sky. Use the double jump strategy. It will not have an issue. Only a great. We're doing a ton more damage to this guy, and it's managing to do to us by far. Twenty-five damage again. Oh, he's got a fair bit of HP. Right, you're gonna chuck Starlo towards us. Ow! Stop it, Starlo. I will counter you. Wouldn't that require hitting Starlo? All the same. Go on, shells. I don't think this thing can do enough damage to me to really wreck things. Indeed it can't, as it goes on down. Not a problem for the bros. As we get one up deluxe, but more importantly, we level up yet again. And we rank up too. You've reached shell rank. You can now equip two gear pieces. Check out the menu to see. I got it. Okay then, so what do I want to power up this time? I mean, all, more SP just seems very nice for me at the moment, to be honest. Powell's not going to have that many good options. Defense neither. Speed, no. Stash has the good ones. <laughs> it might have the good ones, but if I roll bad, I cannot do anything about that. Alright, and two gear pieces for Luigi as well. I would like a ton more SP, but I'm guessing for everyone it's going to be mainly stashed. There's a seven there. Got it! I went silent to time it this time, and it worked perfectly. So one for Mario, seven for Luigi. The soon-to-be critical mass duh. Oh boy, shouldn't have let my guard down. I owe you guys one. But it seems fire is active. Whoa, what happened? My flame is back! You had a bug problem. You set one up and it plugged your flame pipe. What? Really? We already took care of it. Calm down, will you? <laughs> Not too shabby! I might have to make you an honorary minion! Uh, no thanks. Hmm. Well, forget I offered. Just don't regret it afterwards. What's your name, anyway? Um, my name? Yeah, your name! Give it to me! Uh, um, my name is, uh. Chippy! Chippy! Weird name! Yeah, a little weird. Look, it doesn't matter. Wait, hang on, Chippy! You just say, we? I was wondering if he was going to bring that up. Who else is in there? Huh, uh, did I... did I say that? Well, whatever. The only thing that matters is I have my flame back! Now those punks will see what Bowser is all about! Well, looks like Princess Peach isn't around here, huh? Nothing we can do. I guess we might as well let Bowser do his thing. Maybe he'll create some more changes in his body environment. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, his body environment has a billion things to look at itself. <laughs> it's a little turn of wire. Anybody standing in the way gets done medium rare. Maybe I better shake the rust off by burning these trees. Okay, then. Time to make the trees medium rare. Oh, it takes a second to burn them as well. Can't burn that up there, though. All right, I could drink some more water if I wanted to at this point in time. Oh, you actually can as well. Not that it does anything, to be fair. 
So yeah, Mario and Kruka stay there. We're more interested in adventuring, aren't we? Burning down trees everywhere we go, right. Shuriken! Just love this place, huh, Blockface? Oh, Monsieur Turtlebits, why is poor Muir here? He asks, well, I have the troubles. My petit pet block, he is lot to moi. Hello, mon cute bloggy. Come back to moi, I am missing you. Proof, proof. What's that? Broggy is in block doggy. Proof, proof. Okay then. Mon chéri, petite bloggy, you returners. Come to moi, huh? Give us the petite hug you like so well. That wasn't very petite. Petite, it was not. Oh, crazy bloggy, why do you do this? Yeah, okay, proof. You don't like Bowser. <laughs> Man, you are priceless. This thing is your pet. We, although it seems today is not his usual self, huh? I could do nothing when he is like this. Could you teach him the manners, Silver Play? <laughs> no prop, buddy. It'll take about one punch. Oh, I would not say this thing. No, Trey Dangerous. Bloggy, he grows angry, we. Oui? And then he cannot be bested. Your petite punches, I believe, they will not work. Well, from one battle to another. Ah, oh, Monsieur Bloggy, he jumps up on people. Sometimes he is naughty, we, oui? and he ignores the punches as well. So if he jumps on you, that is when you use that fine shell. We, oui, if you hold down Y, you will use the shell defense. He wants the lecture. I do or I do not. Well, if you hold down Y, you can use the shell defense. Oh, no. Success. Oh, wait, you came back. That's rude. Ah, a moment. You are claiming the punching now, huh? I told you, no, no. Bloggy, he laughs at your petite bunches. But he is very much disliking the fire. A flame attack is the best choice. Monsieur, you look good at using flame. Shall I lecture? On? No, no, I think I select a flame attack, probably. Ah, oui, no need for more. Indeed, no. Let's hope that I get it right, though. So, flame gets used like this. And it gets used on all. Oh, it seems I've got to use it before he goes red in the face. No, no, shell defense. No, actually, that would have been punching. Maybe I should have got the lecture. Have I got to use it beforehand? Well, he's angry now. Oh, now, now, now the punching. Now the punching. Oh, excellent. But we turn him round. Let the spikes begin. We jump right over our heads, so we can use it to dodge in that sense. Right. So we flame it. We don't even have to get an excellent or anything like that. Great's fine for the moment. The bloggy turns around. And then we smack it one. I wonder if there's a better timing to use it. Ow, I got up! Thinking it wouldn't be there just yet. But this owner is taking a lot more damage, huh? There's the excellent I wanted. So it is when the head just just goes red no that's that's not the right one you made it very obvious it wasn't going to be the, the jump there's not flamey enough oh I didn't punch in time wrong timing right not going too well now it's a fine margin between excellent and not so excellent isn't it I just wish I could get an excellent punch on I'm just too eager. But all the same, experience he gains. We knew Bowser would have no trouble fighting through that. Even if it wasn't the best picture-perfect battle and we avoided all your tutorials. 
Ah, oh, so very cute, even as he runs away from moi. I'm missing him already. Wait, petit bloggy, forgive moi. Okay. Well, that's all good, no. No, 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 I definitely want to be Bowser. I just want to hit everything, because why not? Hot drumstick and some coins. All right then, we can't burn any of these trees. They are unburnable trees. It says to go that way, however, we can look up here as well. There's a save block, and what's this? Dimblewood ahead. These trees are flammable and burn quickly to ash. But their regrowth is amazing! They spring back in no time. Well, this looks like it is the way I'm supposed to be headed. So what was the other way? With the arrow pointing to the right. A way I couldn't go even if I want to. Well, okay. That's mean. So then we'll head into the Dimblewood then. With trees that grew grow in no time at all. I wonder if I can just... Breathe fire on them to do the first attack. It's critical damage, in fact. So, considering they're trees... This should go quite easily, shouldn't it? Uh, uh, if I do it anywhere near correctly. I was gonna punch it back. Except it's just weird timing. There we go. It was not so critical that time, was it? There we go. Smack. It's just his punch winds up too slow. There we go. Right, so again, just keep breathing fire, because... Double damage. I wonder, could I... Hide from those attacks as well by just getting the shell up? And just take no damage? Or will it just hit me in the face? Which is most likely to be what happens, to be honest. Ah! Get burned! It's only critical for the first time, is it? I don't know. Right then, burn them all! Yeah, getting a bit more of the hang of it now. Except for that I tried to go into the shell. Oh no, that was be the shell, okay. We could all listen to the sounds and what sounds the foes make. Oh, and you're great that time. So that's the defense there. Didn't manage to take him down with just that. Well, we'll get it. Oh, it's still not there, but it still only does 24 damage maximum. Yes, we're learning. You're helping us learn. We can just also choose to slam one, which is, to be honest, better damage still. The Bowser levels up. Even more power is now added to his thing. Now, what do we want to power up this time? There's a seven there. Or was I imagining it? I thought I saw a seven. It might be in the middle of all that. There's definitely five. Got a three. Went for defense. Didn't work out. Wasn't that far from the five though, was it? Well, I will keep on moving forward. Regenerating trees I have not seen anything of. But now this statue looks interesting, doesn't it? What does this say? Route to Bumpsy Plains or the Plaque Beaches down below? We want to know exactly where to go and that statue looks very interesting. And I can burn the grass down to get more coins. Okay. Right, so... To go with the sign, we now have a statue as well. A star floor here. Surely gotta mean something. But what? I can't get past it, that's for sure. So I thought said they grow back instantly. Well, that tree looks interesting, but we're obviously not going that way.
We need a way to get up on high. So I can bring one or two of these trees down to get to different places. Hot drumstick there. It doesn't seem like they grow back, so basically I can trim most of the edges. So I can get more places than I think, even though it says it grew back fast. It doesn't seem like that's actually a thing, so if we continue onwards, we should be able to find... ...ways to force our way through, maybe, with a little bit of burdenating. We just gotta find the right specific tree. So join me next time for more Bowser's Inside Story. As we look to move along with a little burninating power. Ah, the trees grow back between each area. So it's time to figure out exactly what to do with it. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.